data science isn't new. Uh, predictive analytics aren't new. Data analysis isn't new. Math goes back thousands of years. What's new is that we live in a very special time when suddenly mass amounts of data, massive amounts of easy to use analytics and tools are available at our fingertips. And we're able to use those things to answer questions that never were answerable before. It's using data to exceed the limitations of our intuitions. Big data is uh, uh, it's something that can reinforce intuition, right? Because at the end of the day, we always make uh, uh, subconscious decisions and then we try to cover them with some experimental data, right? But in, uh, intuitions often come first. But with, the, uh, with big data, you'll probably be able to confirm or deny or uh, prove that they're correct or they're wrong. You gain more understanding by asking one question, then you get the answer back. And then it enables you to ask another question, which is, of course, based on all the previous questions you asked. And, and then you, you gain the understanding of this incredibly complex data set. Our process looks as the unit of analysis, those forces and how they impact a business ecosystem. And then we use big data tools, visualization tools, analytics tools, to try to map out that evolution um, and see where, what patterns are emerging, and in particular what kind of key uh, points of influence in the ecosystem are emerging. That's typically what you do. You ask a question, you query your database, and you collect a lot of data, typically if you're a grad student, then you query this data, then you come up with a new question. And so this is how the field advances. Big data enables scientists to do this to automate this process. 90% of the world's data was created in the last two years. Like, that's an enormous growth, right? Just in one realm, in one space. It's just an era of dynamism we haven't, we haven't seen before. Um, so I think the, the tools and methods of intuition, the practice of intuition that was quite successful in a different business context 50 years ago, um, just is no longer viable. The same kinds of problems um, it, it, for a business decision involve you know, like social interaction on a grand scale, right? Um, these are just as complex, if not more, and just as non-intuitive to try to solve. So, it, you know, it seems no surprise that the, uh, you know, these kinds of big data things are suddenly drawing the same kind of people to come and solve those problems and figure out what, what are the better tools, what is a better way, what, is, uh, what are the questions we haven't thought to ask before, and what can we learn from each other? So the, the type of skills that help feed our research programs come from a variety of, of disciplines. I'm a physicist myself. We work with a team of anthropologists and ethnographers, um, all towards getting a rich data set. And so the social scientists will go and look how culture is interacting with technology and how society is changing, fundamental notions like ownership and trust and accountability. Uh, and then we, uh, we use people who have skills in understanding business ecosystems and that uh, and creating um, hypotheses for uh, shifts in the basis of competition based on those insights. And that enables us to, to ask, as you say, the better questions because we, we get something back and then we learn, oh, it's, it's interconnected in this way and, and then ask the next question. So this is the huge opportunity I'm seeing here. Well, that's why I think one of the really exciting things about this is, is we're at an interesting inflection point where you know, the, the prevalence of data and also the prevalence of, of data analytics tools um, are starting to become more and more available to more and more, more and more people, where we can start to explore um, questions in entirely new arenas. So it could, I could easily see the day um, where small business people can actually use the same sorts of tools to improve, to move, to shift from intuition to making decisions about, you know, where to open their next door or what new product or service to introduce based on actual you know, data science. When we fail to innovate effectively, entire economies suffer. And I think that's a social problem and not just a business problem. So all that computers and algorithms and data science does is take our mental processes, plug them into a more consistent machine that can handle larger volumes, and see what happens. And that's it.